Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about refinable token, fine token, and you know, the scam that has happened around it with yesterday because we got some big updates we want to be covering in this video. Now, just a little reminder on what happened. So basically, fine refinable token basically had private buyers yesterday and even though they had a lot of private buyers they gave out the address to, they still said the public could buy it at 3 cents, alright? So they said the public price will be at 0 0.33 cents. And that's what has been told to us and a lot of people were bullish on this crypto. A lot of people like the project and like the whole concept of this uh, crypto. And then when it came to buying it, the price was at $9. It wasn't at 3 cents, so we've been lied to. And it was at $9 and a lot of people lost their money because they took a big dump out of nowhere. And you can't tell me cryptocurrency goes from 3 cents to $9 in a matter of seconds. You know, that's impossible for a market cap. That's impossible because with the cryptocurrency, you look at market cap, then, um, you know, the price. The market cap de determines the price. So they lied to people and they scammed people. Now, guys, if you want to, um, you know, get live updates on big things that drop and you want updates on, you know, stock market cryptos, we talk about other things as well on this channel. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so you guys don't miss out on any uploads. I said I'm going to make sure everyone that was involved in refinable token, the fine token, gets their money back and I'm going to make sure this company does that. And guys, we got some big news we need to cover in this video. Share the video around stock tips, Reddit, Discord, uh, wherever you can. Once again, by the way, my name is ODR on damn research. It's the key to success, I believe. If you do your own research, you'll know it's the key to success as you know what you buy and hold and you won't be scared about dips. And I also want to say, guys, you know, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just giving you guys my own take on this. And this is big and I want them to, you know, step up because of what happened yesterday. The fact that this scam happened yesterday and that they kept tweeting saying, you know, thank you for this, thank you for this. They were celebrating over this scam like yesterday and it, it annoyed me so much that they wasn't doing anything about it it actually i can't speak i don't even want to use the words but this is just it wasn't it but um yeah let's go and uh, give an update on what basically happened so official response from our co-founder nick chan regarding different issues about fine token situation Actually, let's just quickly see if they said anything before that, if I missed out on anything before that, just before I move on. So, uh, oh, I didn't even miss out on anything. But yeah, look at this here. So, you see when they launched, just to give you an update. You know, in the event, first couple of minutes in the event, guess what they said? Um, they were laughing about scam. Like, they were laughing saying, imagine, you know, scam happens and all these stuff. They were laughing and saying it and it actually happened. I can't believe what I witnessed yesterday. Like, it's so annoying how this has happened. You know, you're breaking records and all these stuff, apparently. And then the giveaways and all these stuff. And then they're celebrating when people are going on about the scam. You know, I went big on them. And, you know, always a blessing to be supported by you. No comments and no apology, nothing. No, you know, reassurance. They wasn't telling us anything about them fixing this issue. Two hours ago, we got some update on the co-founder. So the co-founder has come out and said, I would like to take a moment to officially address many of the token issues. Why isn't he apologizing? Straight up, why isn't he apologizing? This is a mess they caused. Where's your apology, mate? This ain't a joke. You lost people tons of money. Where's your apology? Tell me. I don't really care if you guys are cryptocurrency. I don't really care if people are backing this project. You guys did enough. You caused enough damage. And I still don't get why you guys don't apologize. Because you guys caused enough damage already. Why is, you know, you guys should be uh, apologizing as the first thing. As the first thing. I would like to take a moment... Um, you know, talk about this. I don't even want to read this nonsense. But yeah, there were reported token contract leaks a few hours ago before the... No, there wasn't. No, there wasn't. Refinable launched at the initial price. Of... No, no, it didn't. It can't. That is impossible. Let's see what people... Are... No, this is so fake. I'm so... Manted contract leak on a pinned link on the Twitter page way before the launch date. Yeah, this is the lie. The contract wasn't even leaked. They announced the contract themselves before launch on their on their Twitter page. The first thing is straight up a lie. What are you saying? Let's go back to your refillable token nonsense. Why? They're not even apologizing as well and they're chatting nonsense. This ain't no reassurance. I don't care what you guys say. About contract leak. No one could even buy it. Everyone had the contract address, no one could buy it. You lot just scammed people, straight off the bat. What are you on about? Oh, you lot deleted it. 
unless you left the website st oh you think you yeah you know where is it oh here it should be this this was the website they put up the contract address on the website and no one was still able to buy it where is it here they put this up before it was live no one was even to buy it it said you know um insufficient liquidity to make this fund happen like no one was able to buy it and they leaked the contract address themselves hours before launch and they're saying the price increased because of that no straight off the bat what did i just read man what did i just read by the way this twitter page of mine is you know i think um, i'm a big fan of WWE, obviously wrestling and i have another channel around that so that's where you see you know i'm using that twitter page um but yeah what did i just read that i can't believe this this is annoying me non-stop why are they lying so much you can't say it released in the initial price of three cents and then spiked all the way to ten dollars in the same second it did a hundred x in the same second no cryptocurrency can do that in a day in a week let alone in a month hundred x like that a hundred x like that no man i can't see that happening i understand with safe moon it was so cheap but with this three cents to nine dollars no one you're lying straight off the bat coin gecko and cmc price charts do not reflect our oh, oh what do you mean so what was the price shown on a trust wallet what was that price wow why were people getting less tokens then with your contract address that you guys put out Public sale distributions were executed at automatically, but private sale and partnership distribution were in issued manually and experienced massive delays. There was no delays. You lot just messed up yourself. Uh, this is all lies. You lot are continuing the investigation. We have been working very hard. No, you haven't been working hard. Very. You you guys were celebrating over this scam scandal. You guys wasn't even looking into it properly, were you? You were just laughing and celebrating behind the scenes of your launch while people were getting angry, tweeting at you guys. Can you fix this issue? I lost a lot of money. You guys did nothing. And now you're lying about it even more. Final note, over one hour after initial liquid, um, liquidity, no private sale tokens were distributed. And despite our best efforts, no best efforts. Please stop lying and please just look into this and give everyone's money back. Boss was still able to front run the LP pool, creating a massive price movement within the first eight minutes. Oh, this lot, man. There's so much lies they're going through. Let's see all this. I don't think thanking those who were able to buy in at a reasonable price and time again before any meaning. Yes. You should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed of yourself. They stole people's money and they're not apologizing. This is disgusting. How are they compensating you know, people's losses? You have to do that. This is... I can't believe what they just... Oh my days, this is annoying me. Yo, we should take this to a lawsuit or something. I'm not even joking. This scam has gone even worse with what they're saying. Them responding to it as though and lying even more in front of our eyes. And I'm not letting this happen. I am not letting this get away with. I am so annoyed right now with what I'm reading. And... I want to make sure everyone that lost their money over this scam gets their money back because the, the more they speak, the more this dude speaks, the more this dude speaks, the more I know it's a scam. The co-founder is a scammer. The co-founder is literally a scammer. Guys, I'm going to update you guys obviously if they drop anything big but reading this just ruined the day even more i can't believe it and they're not even apologizing anything they're still celebrating they're still bragging about how we got leaked early when you couldn't even buy it early and how the price went from three cent to nine dollars in a single second in a single second you ain't doing no 100x man you are not doing 100x in a second scammers liars return everyone's money or this is going to go to lawsuit don't care what you say you guys are frauds you guys are liars you ain't got no backing I can't believe the tactics you guys used to scam people. Disgusted. I don't care what anyone says in the comments about anything bad on this video. This is disgusting and embarrassing.